Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. So today is gonna to be something super simple for a meal. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we had some BLTs the other day and some, there's some leftover bacon. It is turkey bacon because you know we all don't do uh, pork bacon. But we're gonna actually have some bacon cheeseburgers in the Ninja Combi. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring you down here and see um, what, you, what you guys think of this. I do have some water in the bottom of my Combi and I have my pan sprayed actually for the tater tots and that's what we're gonna have for dinner. So I'll bring you down here. All right, so I have some of my steak seasoning that I'd like to go ahead and put on the burgers. Now these are not all the way thawed, but they're, they're pretty thawed. So it should be pretty much okay. And I wanted to thaw these out a little bit because they're so thick and they just take a lot longer to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and, because Steve is here today, um, he's finally able to drive himself around after his second hip surgery. So he's here hanging out with us today for dinner. And let me get a rag and wipe off my fingers here. Now, like I said, I have, I have my um, pan actually, uh, with a non-stick spray because I have found out tater tots do love to stick to my um, the container here. All right. And I think that should be enough for all three of us. So any of us, any of you who have not used or seen the video yet on the combi, that is the combi. I do actually have my fan on that is actually in support my store. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and Put the bottom one in like i said i have water down here anytime that you are cooking for 15 minutes and lower you put about a half a cup of water anything over 15 minutes you put in a cup of water so i have that set in here like this now anything that's on this right hand side like the air fry that's when it's down here when it's on the left side everything is here and i want to do the combi crisp but I want to do that at, well, that's what I was going to do. Kind of be crisp for 350. I'm going to go ahead and just hit start. What happens is these lines will line up for a little bit till this heats up on the inside. Meanwhile, that fan, because um, the steam will come out, it'll go underneath here instead of my cabinets. And um, we'll get that going. And this will be hardly no time at all before this is ready. Um, for those who have been watching me, I have a different earpiece or a microphone. You're going to have to let me know if you think you hear me better with this one or my old one. And what do you guys think? And that's the one I'll be used. But I'll be back um, at dinner time here. All right. So I did run the hamburgers a few more minutes because, like I said, it was actually uh, still a little bit frozen. And they are really super thick. But they're done now. So I put the cheese on there. And then what I did is I took some of my uh, diced uh, dehydrated onions, and that's what I like, ketchup and onions. And then just to let you know, 350 at 15 minutes gives you some really super nice brown, crispy bacon. So go ahead and put my burger together here. This is the boys' plates. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my onions. So these kind of onions are kind of like when you use them this way, they're kind of like the onions like you would get like on a Big Mac type onion. And I just like ketchup and onions on mine, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw a piece of, little pieces of bacon on there. So I'll throw that on there. And the boys are gonna make their own because they know how they want it. And of course I don't have this camera down very far all right and then I go ahead and take a couple pieces of bacon we were gonna I was gonna do deluxes but the boys didn't want deluxes so that's fine we'll just do, like I said we'll just do our own thing but I mean look how nice and crispy that bacon is that combi does I would probably say the best job of any of my air fryers I've, I've ever had. So there's my hamburger. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and take some tater tots. They're kind of like stuck together. And this is my barbecue, or not, excuse me, my bacon cheeseburger, turkey bacon cheeseburger with some tater tots. So a very simple, easy dinner today. So hopefully you like this. I do like using the combi for this. When you do, um, you have something on the bottom shelf and the top. The bottom doesn't get done as quick and sometimes you might have to actually um, cook it for just a little bit longer. And that's what I did anyways, but the hamburger was not all the way thawed too. So thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.